Humanity's venture into space began before 1,100,000 BCE. Early explorers and settlers targeted worlds on the galaxy's edge, but the journey through the stars wasn't always smooth. Multiple technological setbacks befell ancient humans as a result of wars and natural disasters, creating pockets of human colonies all across the galaxy, erasing much of their rich history, including the memory of Earth as their possible birthplace. But humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge led them home. Thanks to scientists like Yaprin Yaprikushma, they pinpointed Earth as the most likely cradle of humanity. Around 150,000 BCE, a major shift occurred. Humanity expanded their reach along the Orion Arm, hoping to remain independent of the Forerunners. The early centers of this expansive era were two star systems situated light years away from Sol. This expansion saw a series of outposts forming a network spanning almost 30,000 light years, reaching toward the galaxy's edge. Humans of this era could easily live past at least 1,000 years, which was nothing compared to the Forerunners whose technology could theoretically allow them to live indefinitely. Ancient human naval officers were distinguished by their unique white facial markings and often showcased long, flowing hair, while common crew members donned sleek, minimalistic body armor, free from the markings of rank or distinction. Some also wore more intricate uniforms, suggesting these might be for special or ceremonial events. Religion played a role in the lives of ancient humans. Many, including influential figures like the Lord of Admirals, followed a polytheistic belief system. The great forerunner warrior the Didact, having observed humans closely, commented on their inclination toward idolizing inanimate objects, especially relics left behind by the precursors. Central to their spiritual beliefs was the concept of Dawa Ma'atu. This concept was so universal to sentient species that even when the Didact came to hate humanity, he would end up using this term as well. And as we get quotes from the original ancient human, a later devolved human, and the Didact respectively, quote, Dawa Ma'ad. We hunt, we grow, we live. Life is simple. We do. Dawa madhu, Fate is off-center. The wheel of life is cracked. The wagon will hit a rock. Jolt hard and fall apart for all of us, eventually. And we play our parts in living time and accept all that life brings and all that it takes away. So we support the mantle. Dawa madhu. This word would be shortened over eons all the way down to the modern human concept of Dao. So by 150,000 BCE, humans had a sprawling interstellar empire of 20,000 human worlds across a thousand systems. In a move that highlighted their dominance, the humans selected Sharam Hakur, a former precursor stronghold, as the capital of their sprawling empire, and saw strategic benefits in forming an alliance with the San Shayum, especially given the latter's advanced technological prowess. Apart from mutual technological gains, the shared contempt both species held for the Forerunner Dominion acted as a glue in sealing their partnership. As time progressed, the alliance between the humans and San Shayum became so intertwined that they started cohabitating planets and co-creating joint cultural and political hubs along the galactic fringes. And the mystery of the automated cargo ships from the large Magellanic Cloud soon morphed into a nightmare for both species. The discovery of these ships, and more importantly, the seemingly innocuous powder found within, would initially seem to be a harmless substance with curious but seemingly benign effects on certain domesticated animals, most notably the dog-like Feru. This alien substance soon unveiled its dark nature. The transformation of the Feru, initially just thought to be cosmetic changes, would eventually manifest into a macabre, malevolent parasite, completely dominating and transforming the animal into a being that would come to be known as the Flood. With the Feru as the unwitting initial carriers, the Flood's insidious invasion had begun. The mutation in the Feru quickly escalated, showing the first signs of the terrifying transformations that characterized Flood infection. As these Feru came into contact with other beings, including humans and the San Shayum who cherished them as pets, the infection began to spread, its grip rapidly tightening on the galaxy. This innocent-seeming novelty dust powder would end up being the harbingers of doom as the Flood's contamination spread the species began its initial stages of conquest, marking the onset of the Feral Stage, where the Flood would start its relentless quest to assimilate all life. The galaxy was now on the brink of a war it was unprepared for, against an enemy unlike anything anyone had ever seen before. 